Chase Wehaki here at the Blue Futon, and I'm a little bit late for this movie, but All Quiet on the Western Front on Netflix. Is it worth your time? Yes. Simply put, yes. So All Quiet on the Western Front, what's about the very simple premise section is based in Germany, and World War One, where Germany's like, you're going to fight for your land. And they're basically, I'm going to say brainwashing, but they're saying, you're 18, you're going to live, you're going to fight for your country. And then they get to the trenches and they realize, holy shit, we are battling for meters. We are battling for meters. We're killing thousands of people for meters for France and Germany. My nose itches, so I'm sorry if that happens. So, did I like this movie? I think this is a fantastic movie. And it should be nominated for a lot of categories, in my opinion. So with that, look at the positives of the movie. This is a two and a half hour movie. It didn't feel two and a half hour. The acting, fantastic. This war play, fantastic. The sadness is there. The realisticness is there. The gore is there. The shock and awe factor is there. The score. I love this score. Even though people might be like it's too simplistic. But my goodness, the score in this movie should get an Oscar nomination. Hands freaking down. And I wouldn't be surprised. All right, I think it should win. But, you know, probably going to be Tar or something a little different. So, let's just talk about this movie as a whole. This is a two and a half hour epic that goes through Germany, France, and they're realizing, like, the whole political side of Germany of, like, you have these generals that just want to fight, 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 and that's all they care about is fighting for their piece of land, which I understand. But then you have these politicians saying, what are we fighting for? Like, seriously, why are we fighting for these pieces of land, like, whose land is it really? It doesn't really explain in the story, so I kind of wish it maybe did, or maybe I just need to be more historical relevance and see what this, what they're actually fighting for. So, you know, for, like, World War II had a little bit more, you know, gravitas to it. World War I, you know what they were fighting for, and America was put into it to, you know, help with the Europeans with Germany, and, you know, the 90s were, or the 90s, and 1900s, early 1900s, from 19, like, 19, from like 1910 to like 1942, 1945, it was horrific in Europe with everything happening. But this is a technically fantastic, well-made movie. The direction, the cinematography, the score, the pacing, and everything like that, you just adore in this movie. And you know nothing bad, or you know nothing good is going to happen in this movie. I mean, it sucks you in. I really don't know what else to say about this film. Except watch it. It's on Netflix. I adore it. And adoring a movie like this probably isn't a good thing because it just... Actually, it is a good thing. You adore this movie because you look at the past and you look what people have fought for and what people were fighting for and the deaths, the horrific deaths of these people. It is horrifying. And we need to realize what happened in the past. We don't want this. We don't want a war with China. We don't want a war with Russia. We don't want wars in general. But you have people like uh, China. When you have trying to take over, you know, the South China Sea, Taiwan. You have Russia, Ukraine. Even though, let's not talk about the power dynamics of both those countries being really, 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 really corrupt with the big man. But it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, the score is daunting in this movie. Even though it's simplistic, it is daunting. This reminds me some of the battle sequences of Saving Private Ryan going on the beach, even though that was filmed a lot better by Steven Spielberg. But there's a scene one with the trenches where you're just like, shit's hitting the fan, and it's just fucking horrific. I would say a negative of the film is the bleakness. I understand they needed to put bleakness in the movie. It is 100% needed. But at the very end of the movie, you expect, like, come on, let's have something good happen. And then nothing good happens. It ends on a cycle. It ends in a loop. And you're just like, I guess that's life. I guess that, that is life. But before I give you the score, here's a word for my sponsors. And comment on that video by December 1st. Because you could win a free one of one of those things from my sponsors. Just roll it. Do you like movies? Do you like art? Do you like stuff made in the USA? Then I got a product for you. Movie Palette. It is absolutely gorgeous artwork. Look at this. Ooh, ah. It doesn't give you any justice. Let's give you a closer image. So movie palette, how does it work? 
These are created by a team of artists who carefully choose colors for our canvases paintings. First, the most common color of every scene in the movie is found. Colorful stripes are then put on a canvas in chronological order from left to right. The length of each strip represents the length of a scene in the movie. So, oh my gosh, how do you not like one of these? These are so cool, so hip, and everything is amazing. Even if they don't have a movie that is on their website, they will create one for you. Bonkers! Absolutely fantastic art. This is going to go behind me. You're going to see it in future videos for sure. So, do you want one? Do you want extra 15% off? Super easy. Use Chasing15 at the checkout. Chasing 15, you get 15% off your entire order. Thank you, Movie Palette, for sponsoring this video and channel. So overall, Quiet on the Western Front, it has acted extremely well. Directed, cinematography, the score, the picture, international picture, fantastic. For Oscars, I would give it probably international. I would give it best picture. These are just predictions. I would give it score. It may be in technical for sound. So I think those four should be in it. Directing, maybe. But the directing category, they do also some bonker stuff anyway. So All Quiet on the Western Fronts will receive a 4.5 out of 5 recruit times. It goes at 90%. So the Critics News scores gave this one. So you have Critics at 91% with 110 of them. Audience score at 90% with over 1,000. Here's the consensus. Both timely and timeless, All Quiet on the Western Front retains the power of its classic source material by focusing on the futility of war. Yes, and I do have the original one uh, from Universal. I probably should watch that then, so I just watched this one, shouldn't I? Anyway, 901091. Chase up with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think is Futon Topia. You Blue Tony. Thank you watching. Have a fantastic day. And seriously, I don't think we know hardship. We really don't in today's day and age. It's TikTok culture, Instagram culture, likes, comment, subscribe culture. It's kind of sad. Kind of depressing.